Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here, and it's been a little while, but welcome to our next Let's Play. We're still getting Dishonored 2 set up, so I thought, hey, let's do another Arcade Studios game that came out recently. And it's an absolutely fantastic one. It's Prey. And joining me on this adventure... It's me, as always, and uh, a little bit like Devastation, I am completely 100% blind on this. Robokai swore me to secrecy, and uh, I have dutifully not even <laughs> looked at the Steam store page for this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't recall swearing you to secrecy, but I think uh, I did say it's, it's a, lot, it's a lot better to go in raw. Oh, I suppose. <laughs> well, I've just completely, I've just completely ruined the lie, but that's going to work out great. Um, <laughs> so yeah... Um, this game is fantastic, but I'm going to let the beginning of the game speak for itself, so uh, let's get straight in. So, just showing off, we're starting on normal, and we get to choose um, our main character, Morgan Yu. And so you can choose between male or female. Uh, one gets slightly better odds on the poker machines, the other one has um, slightly larger input times on the karaoke minigame. Both of Are those you sentences were lies. Are you trolling me right now? That's the most <laughs> yes. random there's, difference. There's no difference. You might have noticed something interesting about their eyes while I was completely lying to everybody in the audience. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just I'm just showing that loading screen. Just it sets up it sets the scene. It's 2032. Welcome to uh welcome to Good prank. morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. This is feeling pretty Aliens Isolation so far. No, oh. Morgan. Yeah, office. I did. I, I, I did not pre-order that Wake game. <laughs> Burning daylight. I sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Oh, listen. I, uh, Really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Yeah, that's our older brother Alex. Um he oh. works in he works in the family business. Uh Transstar. It's uh your parents are on the uh the body corporate. And, uh, and this this okay. room does a really good job of just giving you an idea of just who Morgan is. I chose female Morgan, by the way, because my previous one through was is male Morgan. And as you can see, like a little bit of a, of a wire head. Yes, you know, like, lots of big workspace just devoted to all these, like, you know, bits and pieces, and, you know, like, that. this is the, uh, this is how computers work in this game. Um, if you know the password, you can basically just log straight in. Some people won't be at the password screen, and some people won't have their password lying around for you to know. <laughs> but because this is our computer, um, we know, and, uh... Yeah, Alex, uh, Alex had us install something called a Neuromod last night. Um, that's why on the screen um, we were checking our eyeball. We'll go into a little bit more into what exactly those are as the, uh, as the game opens up. Uh, I imagine people are probably getting really big Bioshock vibes at the moment um, with how you can sort of like pick through bins and things like that. Yeah. Yeah, Bioshock I'm feeling. I'm also still kind of, still kind of feeling just like from the, gen uh, the general... I don't know, aesthetic of the universe so far, mm. I'm still getting Alien Isolation vibes, which is not a bad thing. That game is awesome. Got a little detail on those hands on that suit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, now we're wearing our, now we're wearing our trend stuff suit. So that's very important. We'll look, at, look around this room a little bit more. Um... It's a space. Climb over. <laughs> Just go over your own counter. Why not? Why not? The carry leverage. Through. Okay, sure. I, I, I find it very important that, uh, that it's letting you pick up a... It's giving you the option of picking up a refrigerator, because if it's anything like Deus Ex, you, you'll be able to pick it up and just throw it at some <laughs> dude's head. <laughs> yeah, and uh, for coming on board, Alex has given us a drink, so let's get that. We are, just like most video game protagonists, a complete, a complete lightweight. <laughs> oh, man. First, I know the first thing I do in the morning is drink an entire bottle of wine and get drunk before I go to the job. So, a little interesting thing about that particular thing. That was a magazine story about how Alex is claiming that he can teach you how to be a mathematical genius on the level of Einstein. Um, extremely easy. By so, just, like, beaming it into your brain or some nonsense. Well, that's, right, that's, sure, that's, okay. That's, that's neuromods. And like I said, we'll get, we'll get a little bit more about that. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, a bit of a bit of a philosopher as well, our Morgan. You know, likes the sciences, likes playing video games. Galactic conquistadors. I can get on board with this. Game controller. 
And yeah, you know, I just love all these little details. Oh, look, just you didn't even off. have to say Xbox on. Oh. Uh, going into that shower doesn't kill you. <laughs> <laughs> for for anyone, anyone who is just wondering from uh, Deus Ex Invisible War. Yeah, that you are, anyway, you are. Anyway. You're you're a fem you're a female pseudo protagonist, but you're not Billy Adams, damn it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to die. Miss hey. you. Hey, well, respect right you. off. Must be for you. <laughs> well, we are pretty high up. Um, we're quite rich and successful, apparently. Even or at least you know, well looked after by our parents, even before we joined the place. Because look, yeah. like, like she, she definitely has the like benefit five of an education. Yeah. Door is locked, yeah, roof whatever. Access. Roof access. Yeah, we got a helicopter waiting for us to take us straight to transfer. Man, if there, Malik is in there, I'm gonna tea. lose it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, seriously, let it be Malik. No, no, I'm afraid not. Oh, sadness. I, 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 okay, so let, let's get this straight. Reference, Bioshock, Alien Isolation, Deus Ex 1, 2, and 3, all in the first, uh, the first, what is it, like, ten minutes, five minutes of this Let's Play? Clear skies all the way. Just listen to this music. Let's see if Morgan likes it. <laughs> what a touch! I love that! Yeah, so it's not just it's not just music that the play's listening to. It's music that's in the shuttle. No, nope, sorry, Morgan, in the, uh, Morgan in the helicopter. It's a nice view on the bay there. Just in case you uh, you weren't looking at the giant and Arkham <laughs> Studios production <laughs> on the bridge. The the, the most tongue in cheek <laughs> line ever. This game has a good sense of a good sense of awareness, a good sense of presentation. <laughs> We could have like walked. <laughs> uh, this is like oh, this is would... this is a lot fancier, but we could we could technically have walked here. Yeah, it's really only a couple of blocks from the looks of things. This is also certainly quicker, yes, but like I've lived in a lot of cities. You could have walked that. I've I've heard in some some countries with with histories of terrible carjackings, um, people just find it's better to travel by helicopter. Glass on the way out. It doesn't really look like the kind of place that would have that problem here, though. I don't know where this is. Honestly. At least not from not from the uh, from the top down. But then again, you would also say that of the Mirror's Edge universe. Hello, Doctor You. Loading robot. Doctor You. I'm a civil five yeah. science class operator. What's her PhD? It won't in? let me look at it from the side. It'll always yeah. follow me around the room. Love Doctor Hugh. I know I am. This is a quote from our. Uh, I think this is our father, Mr. William Hugh. Mm. William Yu. Okay. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos One. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live reading. Yeah, sure. Nothing will be missed. Okay. So you're a really advanced note taker bot. I can get behind that. The entire Earth Moon system. <laughs> Earth Moon system requires intense focus and long hours. I can provide you with a psychoactive stimulant after the test. Oh. Necessary. Welcome okay. to 2032. Drugs. Strange. That's never happened before. I'll have to file a maintenance request. Please excuse me, Doctor Yu. I'm sure your brother is waiting for you. I appreciate that that there was a that's never happened before just for the people who are inevitably <laughs> going to speedrun this game. Nine a.m. appointment in the testing facility. Yep, that's correct, elevator. <laughs> Provides you only one button. Well, you know, like what, what's your what's your options? Gonna be here. Like, no, fuck you! I won't do what you tell me, elevator. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking the helicopter. I'm going home. This is I'm taking the stairs. Oh wait, you. there's no stairs. Hey, bro. Hey. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but <laughs> it's a you family tradition. That justifies nothing. It's in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy's going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Well, that's, that's actually the opposite of comforting. I promise. Mr. Yu, they're ready for your sister in room A. Right. Listen, 
Just be yourself. I'll see you after. See, that's uh, that's just the thing about uh, about Alex again. You know, talking about being able to teach people crazy stuff with neuromods. He's asking us about our eye because that's how you apply a neuromod. Mm -hmm. I'm Doctor Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Hey, Doctor Bellamy. Not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All good? Great. Let's begin. For this first test, the gooniest people in the background the there. Circle as quickly as you can. Just go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Huh. So this just teaches us how to move objects. <laughs> Wonderful. That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. <laughs> Did they interpret that as you screwing around? Because that kind of seems like they, they interpreted that as you screwing around. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best it's good around to hide it. in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Okay, so uh, don't give us a whole lot of options here. So um, this oh. usually works in Skyrim. She's... Hiding behind the chair. Okay. Mm, uh, any synaptic register? <laughs> no? no? No, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. You're doing marvelous. I'm insanely disappointed, Morgan. <laughs> I I'm just going to translate for this guy in real time <laughs> at this point. <laughs> It's a, it's a great way to make you feel like a small child when they give you a room right. with nothing in it and ask you to try and hide behind something. <laughs> yeah, really. Please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible. Uh-huh. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Zooms! I'm that was pretty quick. Can someone please explain to me what's <laughs> happening? How is she so fast? Why is she so bad? Did you double check? Speaker still on. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. I like to imagine you're just cocking your head and, and staring at him really hard when you do that. Room. Let's step into D. Yeah, like what? Are they, what are they? It's just. Uh... I jumped over that so fast, and yeah, they're they acting just like, like huh? I like. Were, were they? Were, were they? Did Alex tell them I can't climb over stuff because I'm a girl? Is he? Is my brother picking on me? I, I like to. I like to think she just like went into a front somersault or something like that. <laughs> she did a flip. He's like, is she? Is she? Have a seat at the table for me, please. Okay. I like this bit. Take a look at the screen in front of you. I won't do what you tell me. A series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense. These questions are extremely important to the game, but have no actual tangible effect on the game. <laughs> so, planning a vacation, go somewhere familiar, or try something new. So we'll say we'll, we'll try something new. Agreed. I, 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 I viscerally to, agree to with that In one. case we don't read our computer, this is just to teach us how to use this. <laughs> mm, that's but, yeah. heavy stuff. I'm <laughs> mad if someone sentenced me to death. Yeah. No one should, no one should be that. Um, yeah, so the old five people versus one people, do you switch the tracks and kill somebody, or just let it happen? Or do you, the... do you kill a fat... <laughs> well, <laughs> it's clear our brother's picking on us, so we're pushing the fat man. I hope he sees this. Oh, man. And, yeah, we could throw ourselves on the track, or we could just put the push the fat man again, it's alright. <laughs> I would too, Bellamy. Like, well done. Yeah, I okay, okay. we know what working for Alex is like now. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I want you to okay. take a good look at Oh god, it's a Rorschach test. I'm going to ask you what... Uh... Where's my coffee? It's empty. Oh, damn, boy! Holy shit! Oh, and they guessed us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> that was necessary. <laughs> Why are, why are those things on the, the test chamber anyway? Um, I don't think they're supposed to be there. Swear you to might God. You actually, might have actually noticed it swish up onto the desk and turn into a coffee mug. What about Morgan? 
She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. <laughs> Alex seems incredibly unsurprised by any of this. He's just trying to keep Good calm. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh, so we're now playing Groundhog Day. Got it. That was a really terrible dream sequence. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was a dream at all. Huh. Man, I don't think we want to go into space. Oh, no message from Alex, though. I thought we were going to be starting with him today. Let's just see. Uh. Oh, yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't sent us a message. Oh, that's really weird. Uh-huh. Huh. All right. Search well, uh, let's just get the suit on first gonna guess that that's not the same thing yeah, look real. at your hand look at your hand didn't look at your hand you can't ask what how, what have you become if you don't look at your hand look at those pictures Apparently she went to Austin so the book the books are all the same yeah I was go, I, I'm, I'm now looking for like every single thing that might be different Six oh, we got emails. six emails today. Danger from lead January. Now. Huh. EOM. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, apparently, Icarus has found us. Yeah, that uh, <laughs> that was a, pr a pretty effective way to raise my blood pressure a little bit. Oh, um, our wine's on a different different thing, and I didn't read the note, unfortunately, because um, I didn't even see it until like just now. Like, I'd... oh, when I was wait. Coding. I was like, ah, oh, that's where it is. I could have gotten drunk again. <laughs> All right, let, let's just head out. Uh -huh. All right, and okay, and where's dead. the hallway? Where's uh -huh. the... What? The... F well... Oh, and, and, and Patricia's corpse. dead, too. Uh -huh. that, that's kind of rough. Oh. Would you, find a, find, yeah. Would you kindly find a crowbar or something? Your name is January. You're not dreaming. What happened yesterday was real. If you want to know what's going on, first, you need to get out of your apartment building. You're not safe. As you said, the dungeon believe that. there's no, like, way to get to the elevator. I mean... There's really only one door here, and that's, yeah. uh, that's this one here. That so, balcony uh, looks, uh, looks it, pretty inviting but, uh, right now. We got a wrench, so let's, uh... Oh. Well, then. Let's step through the, let's step through the looking glass, shall we? Quite so. Incoming call. Good. You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep in contact. Okay. Um, it's apparently uh just about three years later than mm. we think it is. Mm. That's a bit of a worry. Um. Okay. Uh, apparently they've been observing us and they're a bit worried that uh oh they're they've apparently been installing and removing neuromods on us quite a fair amount. That's good to know. And, uh, Dr. Bellamy... Oh, well, I'm glad Dr. Bellamy is okay, because it kind of looked like he was dead. True story, um, and... When he got eaten. Alex is also... Oh. Huh. That's just why we didn't get our wake-up call. Because it's automated, and there's no one to press the button to wake us Yikes. up. Yikes. Send the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. Pigeon there's visuals. Helicopter. Well, really great you decided to come on board. Just the sound. Things up, Morgan. Like old times. Don't well, um, we're 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 apparently been living in the Truman Show. That's good to know. Yep. Yeah. Uh, all those wonderful views we were seeing. Yeah, we. That's computer totally generated computer generated. Visuals. Got that. And, the safe uh, code is. It's interesting. been rubbed out. Oh, okay. I'm gonna rub you out, see? <laughs> this entire skew is defective. Sure, okay. See, this is what I was talking about with, like, the password. There's no password found, but because oh Marco God. is an idiot. You are what's wrong with every co uh, corporate security <laughs> net, Marco. It's only good, like, a note. The first note is, hey, password security, stop writing things on notes and stick it on your freaking computer, you idiot. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the safe we can't open. 
I wonder if they sit Marco science. off in like a in a in a corner over here. I, that, that, I think that's really the most galling thing is that he's got a master's in computer science. He literally knows better than this crap. <laughs> I suppose it's just like uh, he probably just considers what he's doing so low level. It doesn't really matter if someone reads his emails. <laughs> <laughs> Do okay, not so do not interact right. with the subject off script. Okay, sure. Yeah, this is uh this is normal. This is all completely normal. Uh huh. Boys return the helicopter to its ready position after it's been serviced. Oh, apparently people could just spy on us through a one way mirror. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> now you're just gonna get incredibly crunk. Yep. Oh no wait. This you is didn't... the uh, this is the No, you can hold on to it for later. You can actually oh, okay. like restore stuff with alcohol. There's like food and there's other stuff. That well, I, I was figuring that it was going on the Bioshock. Um, what's the word I'm lo I'm looking for? Tenant, I guess. In that, uh, the second you pick up any food or drink, you immediately gobble it down like you have a wasting illness. Okay, so that's happening. Yeah, that's uh, that's what this current enemy does. It's uh, quite rightly called a mimic because what it does is it. Uh, it turns itself into things, and nice. Really, really, just sort of likes to jump out at you. Typhon organ, interesting. Yeah. And there's a there's a thing we can't grab because we don't have the uh, the right skill for it. We'll go in, we'll go into skills in a bit. Again, like once it becomes relevant. One basically once uh, once you go to spend some of that stuff. Mhm. Mm that corpse though. <laughs> yeah, she... Dude, that is, I, uh... the, the reason I didn't bother Patricia as much as I bothered the science operator is because she starts to get really nervous and is like, you're supposed to go down the hallway. <laughs> stop talking to me. That would me. have tipped you off like, quickly that something was wrong. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so our closet apparently has easy access <laughs> to the... <laughs> That's All right, then. a little creepy. Okay. And there's the helicopter. There's the helicopter and the and the big the big studio scape. My floor. So. Okay. Okay. Well, this game is doing an absolutely incredible job of Uncanny Valley. Yeah, it's it's using all of the the cute tools that they play with in video games, but they're showing them to you. Mm -hmm. You haven't just like. The look when you were in the elevator, you weren't changing floors. The room was rearranging, and that's that's bloody amazing as far as I'm concerned. Yep. Burr, 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 burr. Well, now I'm glad it wasn't Malik, because then Malik would have been an illusion. That would have made me very sad. You can sort of see the uh, the big thing with her with William William Mew's quote on the front of it. Uh, wouldn't have uh, would have been up there, and that hallway would have been gone. I really appreciate that it's kind of, it's kind of going up and down like a freaking EKG, a very unhealthy EKG, but an EKG nonetheless. Yeah, there's a. <laughs> I just I just love how uh, I just love how this whole setup is. Just shows hey, you how messed take up the is. Cool. Always take the medkit. Oh, oh. All right then. Alright. Yeah. Utility. Yeah, that system email. wasn't doing so good. Yeah, yeah that's uh yeah, yeah. if you know if you don't see a sort of an in brackets plus number thing, it uh it means that it's, it's basically an email you've read before. Right. And it might it might be it might be an earlier part of a chain if it's a if it's a new one, but it'll still be one you have technically read. Reset the crank the right. Yeah, okay. And another mimic. Everyone calls them mimics. Be careful what you pick up. Interesting. Yeah, but just the lady was asking before, um, if you can break the windows? Yeah, the mimic broke that window. Um, but I could also do it, so I really appreciate how they're they're turning uh they're effectively turn, uh, turning the player's rampant kleptomania into into a liability. Oh my god, like you wouldn't <laughs> fucking believe it. They can only turn into things that are that are present. In some in some description, I believe. Sure. So you you have you have to look for things that uh, that are distinctly off. Like in that case, why would there be two chairs in there? Yeah, 
two chairs. Uh, Again, you know, uncanny like, valley. Sometimes they do try and move around when they think you're not looking. Um, mm -hmm. So you'll see like a coffee cup scamper across the floor. That's really unsettling. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yesterday actually happened. That's always nice to know. What about Morgan? She's alive, sedated. Clean it up. I'm on my way. So... That's like seriously. That was the one of the best introductions to a game I've ever seen, and that's that's one of the major themes of uh, of of Prey is putting f whether or not you're willing to put faith in what you see and what you're told, and it's subverting your expectations, which yeah. takes a lot of thought to do right. Hello, and yes, Mimic. that did actually scare the absolute shit out of me. At the it time. looks like <laughs> it. There it is running around as a coffee cup. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just unsettling as hell. Yeah, uh, that um... that owned. Holy crap. Like, I'm still processing all of that. Mm-hmm. Yep, and as you see as we were in the you know, as we were in the helicopter and couldn't see out the front. Mm-hmm. As it sort of fake flew us somewhere else. It, uh, it rearranged the skybox. Sorry, it rearranged the front box for us. I'm slightly yeah, disappointed that, uh, that there still isn't the Arcane Studios Presents thing on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for that. This is like, that's something you see every day and it's totally normal but at this point. They had a sponsorship deal with Transstar, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, and that's the, uh, the they, they call that system the looking glass, projecting onto glass an image that has, like, a perception of depth and things. Yeah, okay, man. Oh, Fantastic. You totally fooled me there. Fuck. Idiot. Idiot. <laughs> I'm not used to it yet either, because I just like you've yeah. literally told me that it, that it's like they can run around as a coffee cup. That is not something that has processed on a low level for me yet. So I was just like, oh, it's just a coffee cup, and then then it starts moving, and I was like, wait, what? It will mess with you. It will mess with you for the entire game. I promise <laughs> Shit. you. <laughs> Oh, get shit on, nerd. <laughs> oh, you don't know that Joven was a nerd. Jesus Christ, closed casket funeral for those guys. And that's how they reproduce. Okay, fine. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just a little further. Yeah, not a good way to go. Banana peels. He had two banana peels. What is this guy? <laughs> uh, uh... Is he Daffy Duck? This this guy. He would have escaped too if he hadn't had dropped them and slipped on them. Seriously. In an, in, an, in an attempt to see if they communicated via uh, via comedy. This is like a space station thirteen st a style runarounds. Filing cabinet. Okay, email. Fantastic. Okay. Apparently, we were supposed to be showing something else in that in those three rooms is what they were expecting, but you know, we we didn't. And that's why they were were confused. This is a side quest. Uh -huh. Bellamy's Bellamy's not okay. He's he's dead. Um, but they believe he might have taken some stuff, and so you can go you can go hunting for him if you if you so desire. Play your way, boy. Don't don't I recognize that pop up? Mm-hmm. Arcane are quite fun of that. <laughs> Literally That's checking One of you, I, you, you can no longer trust chairs. What kind oh, of world one. do we live in where you can't trust a fucking chair? An awesome it's a, one. It's a beautiful world. Apparently someone wanted to test, test, wanted to test setting us on fire um, last year. <laughs> All March. right, then. Oh, got him. Second try. They actually have a surprisingly good bit of range on them with those uh -huh. handles of theirs. But that's okay, because look, we bring up our little mini thing and we can just eat some of that food we've picked up and it very slowly regens some of our health. Oh, Whoa, okay. Yeah. Surprise attack on uh, Apparently, yeah, apparently uh, I surprised it as much as it surprised me. Clearly. Um, <laughs> I don't think it knew I was there. Because they do have a sense of awareness, so that can happen. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that was simple enough. That's that's our way out. This is Belamy's computer. 
Yeah, so this is the this is the the stuff that they've tracked for our behavior. They wanted to see mm -hmm. just how much our, how, how much we were sliding away every time they did this to us. Sure. Yeah, so that's the uh, that's the first part of that earlier chain, and uh, apparently people have been going to see Matthias Cole. Uh, he's so is he the ombudsman? He's the psychiatrist. Okay. Because you would probably need a psychiatrist working in this place. I mean, <laughs> you're doing that to some uh, somebody on a weekly basis. I, I think I yeah. think I start questioning my life pretty quickly. Jesus Christ, Robokai. <laughs> I mean, so geez. every time, every every time I successfully kill kill a mimic, there will be probably like two other scenarios where I where to, I just wallop a. To be fair, no I reason. had pegged the one behind that one as, as the mimic, because it was just like, oh, it's the like the see the the ch the chair was like up against the wall or what or whatever, mm -hmm. and I, I'm just like, okay, <laughs> that's got to be the mimic. It's too neat. <laughs> yeah, if everyone's had to get out and hurry. Uh. Yeah, so that's this is the explanation of Neuromods. Um, when you get it installed, um, it'll give you a whole bunch of skills, a whole bunch of things you can uh, you can use to, uh, to to know how to do stuff. So it's like, <laughs> so the the major problem with them is is when they're removed, your memory gets bounced back to when it was first installed. I see. They mm -hmm. okay. Well, that guy looked very angry. That was a phantom. Typhon Anthrophantasmus. Very talkative, too. I really don't think we care about the about the uh, the biological categorization of these things. <laughs> I mean, I don't. You might, you might, you might want to, you might want to though. There, are, there are interesting beasts in their own right. Um, when we actually encounter one proper, I'll talk talk some more about what they do. So there's a lot of places we can't get to at the at the open at the outset of this uh, this stage. Man, now um, I want an apple. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I was just a little bit hungry this entire time, and I had no idea what I wanted. Nothing sounded good, and then you picked up an apple, and I'm just like, oh yeah, I want a Fuji apple. Yeah. So there's a third floor above us. We just came we just came down from I think. Uh... Yeah, from from an area, and if we were able to, uh, if we were able to fix that with the with the right skill, um, and using the spare parts, mm. I want to show that off. We'd be able to restore that grab elevator. Green goes up, red slowly lowers you down. Ah! Oof! Get out of here, mimic! <laughs> cut, you are not welcome here. Crabs. You are a zombie. Especially what happens if a head ca if a head ca <laughs> crab can pretend to be a coffee cup. Okay, so here's our first non-weapon weapon, the uh, the glue gun. Uh, you can probably already tell name. what it does. Looking looking around here, sorry, the glue cannon, because <laughs> it's uh, it's actually quite a meaty, uh, oh, meaty it's, little thing. It's a non-lethal. Okay, I can get behind. Yeah, this, this thing, you can't kill anything with this, but you can see you can you can you can use this for a lot of utility. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. you can. You can use it to uh, to essentially freeze in place um, the the alien things, the mimics, the the phantoms, and anything else we find along the way. Morgan, there. Natalia had had an. Thank you, mimic. <laughs> it really doesn't want you to slip. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive without using them to install new aptitudes. I've already updated your transcribe with the list you requested. Take when did we request this? Everything you know is about to change. New objective. God damn. No promises there. Well, to be fair, we didn't know a lot. Um, <laughs> we, well, we, we, we've got a lot missing. Natalia. So yeah, and the other, the other great function for, uh, for the glue gun is... Yeah, we wouldn't be able to get up there normally, right? Well, you can climb up the, uh, the little things you make. It's like a and futuristic so, yeah. rope bow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's Love it is it. a fantastic tool that you should have on your person at all times. Is your inventory incredible. isn't too fantastic uh, to start with, so me picking up everything that's not nailed down can be a little detrimental, but it is incredibly useful still. So yeah, they, uh, there's no mimics, no monsters up here. Fuck you, mimics. But there's also a lot of places we can't access yet. Pick up the cardboard, I guess. Um. 
so you have like Natalia back there where you got you got a little bit more a uh, more glue ammo. She was carrying mm. another banana peel, and I, I realize the moment has passed, but <laughs> the question is still burning in my mind: What the fuck are these people doing with banana peels in their pockets? And here's our second pistol. toy. Ooh, yeah, this is not exactly lethal uh, on okay. any living organism. It just stuns them. But anything that's a machine. You can shoot that with, and it can damage them and can destroy them. That guy's carrying jellied eels. How, dis how dishonored was that? Oh my god. Also, his, his name is is not a name. He, yeah, no, that's like an android that's... or some shit. No, he's a person, but we won't find exactly what's going on with that until we can get access to the, uh, the Clone, volunteers. Probably. Uh, the volunteers section. Oh, I saw that earlier. It was like volunteer section. I'm just like... A hellscape like this, there are no actual volunteers. That is that is said with a snide grin. Or my name is Mud. Yay! Yay! <laughs> how is it? How is it not yay? Yeah, seriously. But there is a lot to this place that we will not be able to get to for now. Um, we'll be able to get to it later if we spend some uh, some skill points or get access to some more stuff. Because there's like one way we can go, but that requires a, a few neuro mods and being able to lift stuff. Is, fall, um, is falling damage a thing? Ha <laughs> ha! So yeah, that's that's what stunning does. Although we still got jumped by the other one. And here's what the uh, the glue gun does. <laughs> what a dick! It is it is a fantastic tool um, against most of the sort of the normal enemies. Like phantoms can struggle out of it. Um, I don't know how long it takes for Mimics to get out of it, because they're so easy to hit and kill with it. But, um, yeah. Can't say- I can't say it's too much of a problem. Wow! That guy was all over that attack. Yeah. That one was also carrying shotgun shells. So, you know what? We'll get some lethal weapons, uh, at some point. Gun shoot, shoot gun. I mean, the- obviously the pre-order thing at the beginning said, Hey, you're getting, uh, you're getting the shotgun, if you can ever get to your office. Just drink it because why not? Doesn't even help you any. Okay. You do get a bonus to the damage you do to a mimic for uh, for killing or any enemy if you kill them without them seeing you. Yeah, you oh, you, you got me you got me with that one too. I was just like, what the oh fuck? God, no one else is. Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't. Jesus, you're still in the lab. I can't get out. There's. What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. And that's the end of his life. Baseball glove in the garbage bin. This rubbish that I'm picking up does serve a purpose. Also, every so often you'll find these little dirt skiffs. They've swept everything up in a region, and they'll have... They'll have stuff. Spare parts. Hmm. Junk off the ground. There's so many things you can just sort of open up and look inside. It really behooves you to uh, to search the place out. And it's just telling us about the favorites wheel. Obviously, we already we already seen that. You can you can basically just you know like any other game, just pick out what you want, assign hotkeys to things. God bless. I, that mimic that mimic made me jump fucking again. Never going to get used to that. I completely and utterly picked that wrong. Um, and here's me flushing every toilet. It is, an, it is an important part of cleanliness. As we all know, that is next to godliness. <laughs> and yeah, you can destroy any, any goo bit you make with your wrench as well. I, I, I thought, would find it incredibly simple to get locked into a corner with that. Mm -hmm. Alright, <laughs> so let's pick up the neuro mod. It'll give us access to a menu, which will sort of show off uh, the first major part of the skills we can get in this game. Holy crap, that holder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, thanks for the ominous skull.
So to start with, we have full access to all the human neuromods. Um, as the game goes on, we will be able to acquire alien neuromods. Um, that's kind of a spoiler, but it's going to tie into, into later on. Uh, uh, yeah, so... that's that's quite a that, that's quite a quite a promise right there. Yeah, there's a lot of selections of stuff we can get. You know, we can get better combat ability. We can, as in, like kind of like with Bioshock, you can make mm. your wrench an absolute kill beast. Be really good with firearms. There is only one sort of activatable ability. Um, which is kind of like a slowdown, basically, where you move slightly far, like, you know, slightly slower, but everyone moves drastically slower. Mm -hmm. And so you, uh, you can do tons and tons of damage. And that's, uh, that's simulations for now. We'll be coming back here, depending on the, uh, you know, when we come back will depend on the thread. Uh, cause what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after this, you know, everyone's watched this video, there's going to be some some choices that uh, the, the the thread is going to have to make regarding about how we're going to play this because there are a lot of a lot of choices to make in in the style you want to play prey. Um, the first and most important one is the abilities. I'm going to give everyone the option to choose between if they want to play using only human uh, skills, only alien skills, or if they just want me to like mix it up. Um, the other the other thing is. Um, we have to make a decision uh, as we go along here, uh, and it's a very important decision. But I'm going to put that poll up uh, once we know a little bit more about what's going on here. So for the very first thing is I'm just going to give every everyone that that first option, and then and then everything else will come afterwards. I've already got enough recorded that I can do this, and then do another episode and still do a separate poll. So this will be this will be all right. It won't be it, it won't be a conundrum that we have to come up with too soon. So the the polls will have plenty of time to. And the call, the, go. the catch in your voice let, uh, lets me know that there's going to be even more mind fuck next time. So, <laughs> oh probably, yeah, probably bring oh, some yeah. way to numb that particular bit of pain. It's this game is definitely like I said before for everybody. This game is about perception. It is about tr what you decide to trust in 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 a few ways but most important of all it's it's asking you to make that call mm -hmm. and that's what i really like about this game is the onus is on you and we'll see some more of that next time when we when we're out in the lobby so until then i've been the last robokai and i've been cool guy and we'll see you all soon i'm looking forward very much to uh to seeing what everybody makes our morgan new into and until then we'll see you all later